What's up everyone, it is Jason Jan. I welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm talking about fusion. I'm talking about using musicians with your DJ services to help boost up the things that you're doing for the people you are performing in front of in the private event, the mobile event, the corporate event, the event industry. And I wanna share with you some thoughts on why I think so many people miss the mark. So if you're someone that's looking to incorporate musicians into your setup, into your performances, into your events, or you're someone that's maybe tried it, it didn't really work out well, it didn't create a buzz, maybe it didn't feel right, I made this video for you because I'm hoping to help you and I'm hoping to help our industry as a whole boost up. That's what this channel is all about. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of the other content that exists here on this platform, I would love to invite you to not only subscribe to this channel to support me, but to check out the other content that I have here on this channel because it's all based on real deal experiences, real deal learnings, things that I've either seen or have gone through so that I'm sharing it so that you can maybe not make the same mistake or you can maybe get a little bit further, a little bit faster. I always say that here on this channel and that's what this content is all about. So today I'm talking about musicians because fusion is a big deal and it's one of my favorite things to do for the people that trust me with their events. I love incorporating live elements to my DJ show when I'm doing private events, corporate events, showcase events, I love diversity, I love talent, I love to see people do things that might not be what's expected. I love to just create difference and variance in my events so it's not the same thing each and every time. And I think musicians are a great way to do that. That's like the pro to it. And I can go into a whole laundry list of how to execute it, what to do, all this stuff. But I really wanna focus on not that I wanna focus on anything negative, but I wanna focus on things that I think people are missing when they're trying to do fusion experiences for a number of different reasons. Fusion to me is not just having a musician play alongside a DJ to every song the entire time you're playing music and just playing basically like the fill or whatever. It's not a musician taking, you know, the, 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 the forefront of the overall experience. I think fusion when executed properly has a kind of give and take kind of experience. It's kind of like a roller coaster ride where there's gonna be some songs, there's gonna be some genres, there's gonna be some elements that shine at certain moments. And then there's gonna be parts of any celebration where those elements need to pull way back. So I think the first thing that I think a lot of people are missing is understanding the flow of an event. I don't know why I can't talk today. And how you push musicians forward at big moments of a celebration. So if you have a percussionist or a drummer or a saxophone player or even electric violin or a trumpeteer and you're you're playing like a big buildup, that's where you want them to really shine. You want them to get really loud with whatever they're playing. And it kind of like builds way up and then it goes into a big break and it either it settles down or it keeps that energy level like bumping. And that's where they'll play really hard. But you can't keep them full throttle for the entire time you're DJing. I think that's a big mistake. And it's a big mistake I see a lot of people doing. I think the magic in using musicians at an event is to create different, almost like micro kind of moments or experiences while you're doing it. And I think one way to do it is to push musicians forward together or individually at different moments. Use musicians as assets, as features, as another kind of tool in your arsenal of performance to shift the feels, to shift the landscape, to shift what it is you have going on at the event. And I'm gonna play for you an example at the end of this video of what I just did with one of my super talented SCE fusion musicians, Emily Simone, who plays electric violin. And I wanna show you what I'm talking about, about her doing this at a dinner set as an example. I'm gonna do it at the end of this video. So the first thing is understanding the flow of an event and knowing that just because you have someone there, it doesn't mean they need to be full throttle the whole time. There needs to be like this ebb and flow that where things get heavy at times and things pull back at times. And you need to understand that it's it's like a wave. Like there's gonna be times to really push forward and get loud and crazy and all out full throttle. And those moments are not super extended. Shorten them and also pull people back. If you feel that something's overtaking a moment for whatever reason and it doesn't fit or maybe the musician is not in line with where you're going next. 
I think that's something that you either need to have a conversation with them about or you need to be very candid about as the captain of that event ship to essentially let them know, like, hey, pull back a little bit. Let's bring it down a little bit. Let's move a different direction. And there's a lot of ways you can do that with signals, with song choices, with just conversation while you guys are playing. But it's something that I think a lot of people are missing. So I'm sharing that with you because if you're someone that's struggling with this or you're doing fusion experiences at your own events, but you notice like the phone's not ringing off the rocker afterwards and people are not like requesting that service over and over and over again, I think it's because you've probably missed the mark on it and you need to fine tune that one area. Another thing I think that's super important, which kind of falls in line with this same kind of school of thought, which will bring me to number two, is understanding your talent and their abilities, truly. And I don't mean this in like a hurtful or any kind of way, but some people are really good at certain things and others are not. And I can tell you that I work with a number of different musicians that play the same instrument and they all bring something uniquely different to the table. I think the key to offering fusion solutions for anyone in the industry is having a great understanding of who that person is, how are they, when they perform, are they animated? Are they in your face? Are they more kind of cooled out and chill in the background? Are they really, really technically advanced or are they a mediocre musician? They just have a great stage presence because I think all of these things kind of help you strategically place these talent options in the right positions so that when you are performing at someone's event, they knock it out of the park. You wanna set them up for success, you wanna set yourself up for, su for success, and you wanna set up the people that are hiring you for their events for success. So that's number two, understanding your talent, understanding who they are, how they perform, what they're really, really good at, and where maybe they fall a little bit short. If you have a great understanding for that, it will help you be successful in the future. Number three is bringing the right tools to support that event and the audio integrity of what it is that you need to do. So a lot of people that play percussion could mic their drums, but it's not needed in a lot of instances. Whereas if you play with someone that's playing a saxophone, chances are they're going to need ample application to properly disperse the sound of that sax using their wireless mic kit. So you wanna make sure that you have the right equipment on board for your event that gives not only access to your main system, but if the musician requires a reverb or a delay or any type of affecting that your equipment, your mixer, your control center has the ability of offering something that will complement the show so that you are putting yourself in the best place from an audio integrity perspective. You wanna make sure that you are properly using the tools that you have on site at your event so that you can create impact or wow moments. Now, I referred to a wedding that I wanna share with you and I'm gonna do it right after I get done with this point. But the point of me bringing it up again is the fact that I wanna share with you a clip from a dinner presentation I did with my super dope, super talented electric violinist. Her name is Emily and she absolutely crushes it. And what we did is we create these like almost like solo featurettes at different moments of our celebration, maybe when they present salad or sit everyone down for the first course or sit during dinner. And unannounced, we essentially shift the lighting in the room, we brought everything down, we started to disperse low flying clouds. And by the way, if you haven't seen my cloud video, click on the up on the video up above, and that'll give you kind of the information on the machine that I'm using, which is the LSG. It's a super boss machine, and it's one that just absolutely kills it. And you'll see what I'm talking about if you check out this video. And we start laying out the fog, we transition into a song where then she walks out in her gown and she starts playing the electric violin. We then light her from the back using our intelligent lighting, and we create like a silhouette effect. Now, no one at this event knew what was going on, but we used not just the audio kind of components that supported her properly, we used lighting, we used our atmosphere collection with our dancing on the clouds, and we helped frame out this moment that visually was insanely impactful for the people that were at this wedding. And this is why 
Fusion has become very successful for me and for us at SCE because we don't just have musicians go out and play whatever. We try to create these almost like micro experiences and I can't wait to show it to you because you'll see exactly what I'm saying. It's a four minute clip of her playing an entire song but you can see how not just the theatrical components or the atmosphere components of the clouds or the lighting shift with the different moments of the, of the song, but you can actually hear the guest's reaction as you get to the latter part of this little example I'm, I'm gonna play for you. So it's super important that you bring the right equipment to support the event, but also you fully look at the options and the equipment that you have on site at that event. And if you can maximize or create a further contrast or brighten up a moment or complement with sparks during a crescendo or clouds to kind of set that really cool, like sexy vibe or whatever it is, use your lighting and, and, and alter your lighting and program your lighting and, and, and manipulate your lighting so that it's, corresponding with the music, I think that's where the energy is. And that's where it takes a fusion experience to a completely new and different level. Now, granted, not everyone can do this in every venue, everywhere, everything is different all over the place. But I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I think matter if you are struggling with incorporating fusion into your overall portfolio. Talent is really hard to find, but you need to let them fly and you need to let them excel. And if you do this properly and you take these things into consideration when you are offering the service to people that are hiring you for your events, you are literally setting yourself for an incredible alley-oop that's gonna be a slam dunk and everyone wins. You, your musicians, and the people that you are working for. You will create an incredible amount of referrals and you will create a lot of buzz around your company if you can execute this stuff successfully at your events. Now, I've been incorporating musicians in my overall portfolio for over 10 years now, and I am super proud of how this one dinner segment really, really took this event to a whole nother level. So now I'm proud to share with you this video clip of a dinner experience that we just created at a recent wedding and man, it was insane. So I hope you get to enjoy this. I hope you get to check it out in its entirety and I hope you get to see how we shifted the landscape at a real deal wedding that I actually hosted with my team and just see the difference. I call it the SCE difference, but we're just gonna say see the difference. Now, if you're struggling with musicians, you're struggling with enhancing your events in some capacity, or you have any questions, I'd love to invite you to drop down below, leave me a comment, I'll do my best to answer it, or maybe address your issue in another video, but I am pumped that you're here. I'm pumped that you get to check this out, and uh, just do me a favor, leave me a comment if you need anything at all. My name is Jason, enjoy the clip, and thank you for checking out this video. Peace.